Hey everybody, <laughs> look what I have right here. Uh, I really love this lighting. So today I will talk about the materials I use to make the drawings. And these materials include stuff I have in my pencil box, of course my sketchbooks, uh, my watercolors, and my palettes. Let me start from the sketchbooks. The sketchbooks I currently have are Stillman and Byrne sketchbooks. And I have two of them right now that I'm currently working on. And, uh, well, let me start from the first one. Uh, this sketchbook is about my children. And it's really interesting because as you... Uh, see, let me move it around here. So when you see it, so you see it's an illustrated book about them for our kids. But just and Gulmira and the kids are just around, uh, just near in the sun. So the stuff that I did about them, for them, like for example, you see just Mira's books. You see the story that one half once happened, like when just Mira doesn't feel like sleeping. So the materials I use here in this book are basically the materials I use everywhere when I draw on the paper. So it is watercolors and some ink. So I do the outline with the ink and then finish it with the watercolors. So this is like just Mira's eating habits. And uh, of course there are toys and when my son was born, his footsteps. So and all of that here. And another sketchbook that I use, remember I told you I have the second one is also is also from Stillman and Burn. Uh, this one is a heavyweight uh, watercolor has less pages but uh, the pages uh, don't curl like if you you see some watercolors here you can tell that the pages are curling a little bit which I don't mind but but still if you want to have that really good wash in your pictures um, you need to go with this one let me see what I have here so here I have some notes from the books I've read, uh, from the webinars I visited. So some marketing ideas here, some pictures drawn for Uzbekistan Illustrated. And uh, again, some uh, classes that I took. And again, some Uzbekistan related pictures. And the media I use here is the same. I draw with ink first and then I color it with watercolor. Sometimes I use pencil. Uh, to have some ideas about the ink, but that's mm, basically it. So as you can see, like there are more pages for me to fill in this book. Now let's talk a little bit about the materials that I have. Uh, this is what's inside my this is what's inside my pencil box. I don't use most of it, but it's definitely worth talking about some of the items here. So I'll skip the ones that I don't use, Sharpie markers just have it because I have some old pens that I don't use. First one is a pencil, or a typical mechanical pencil, but you can go with any type of pencil as long as it can be erased. So it's really good to start the drawing. Uh, the pens that I have, this I found a very interesting brush. It's called soft brush. So whenever you're drawing, uh, it kind of mimics the brush feel. So if we open up one of the pages in the sketchbook, you see here I have some, 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 some so you see it kind of mimics the soft brush and it's a marker so it's soft. Brush. It's a really nice thing to have. The bad thing about this brush is that it wears off real fast. So the same soft brush here. Okay. Have a ruler, just in case. I've never used it so far. A big marker if I want to cover a lot of uh, places. If I want to cover much with black. Mm. So these are the. This is the pen I usually usually use a lot. So it's a fine liner. So it's a waterproof. Uh, it's a waterproof uh, ink, and it's by Faber Castell. Really like it. I have some sharpers that I don't use. The Micron pigment pens are really the ones I use a lot, uh, and this is the sepia color. So sometimes when I have some drawings that I don't want the outline to be black, like for example in this drawing. I use the sepia to do the outline. 
and uh, and then finally I use a water brush so it's very convenient you don't have to carry a separate water container with you every time you watercolor and this is I just go in fill this in with water and it's really easy so what you, what you do is you open it up go to the closest fountain or, or tap just get some tap water and fill it in of course the eraser to erase all the lines of pencils if you have those now um, next thing I have are my watercolors so the watercolors I have are I store them in this box so of course I have some tissue paper that I don't like to throw away because you can reuse it and you can always like whenever you're grabbing some watercolor you can just rinse your or wipe your brush and wipe the color away from the brush using some of these. And the watercolors I have are Leningrad water brushes. So these were presented, they look really old. Mm, they aren't very old. I was presented with these watercolors maybe in 2005 or 2006-ish. My wife presented them to this. Sometimes when I want to go light, I just grabbed this box with me because it's convenient to walk around versus this whole um, bag. So this is uh, Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. So will, oh, you see I have one filing falling off. And you see I don't use them much. But what I can do is I can take the watercolor right from uh, the pencil here and then mix it in the palette and then continue and do the coloring this way. Or you can just take the, the pencils and fill in my drawings and just and the water afterwards and finally this palette i think it's really valuable for me because it's an old one and this is the one i used i think in my elementary school as you can see with the type of drawings i have that are in sketchbooks i don't need to use a lot of watercolors so this is what i usually do as you see the top is over the top lid is already broken but i use it as a palette sometimes like if i put it on the white background you see that i can mix the color right here and then again the colors you see the yellow is gone black is gone and well and i really don't like this yellow because it's i don't know it's really toxic yellow i call it i don't use that then whenever i'm doing that like sometimes i use this palette it's really convenient because as you can see like these two colors are uh, used for um, I used to make the skin color and then I just add something darker there to add the shadows and that's how it goes. I usually don't wash it once in a while I try to do it but um, I really don't need it because sometimes when you have a, a drawing, a really small one, uh, why don't I draw you like you, you see how it goes. So I can show you like the process of how it's done. So when you go to this page, and now I'll take my CDF uh, marker. So I'll just draw a simple face. I don't have the idea to write like this. I wanted to write it inside mouth. This, so it would be like this. So then the hair would be like this, and the ear would be here, and the hair will continue going, and the face will be like this. Once I'm satisfied with this drawing, which I'm not very right now, but it's for the sake of showing you how it works. Take my palette, take my water brush. can take some colors, but so far I have already some colors in the palette there. So I have just a piece of. Uh, and just a piece of cloth so make sure I don't have anything so I'm grabbing the color from here I already know what kind of color this is so I'm mixing it up and then and then I'm just applying it to my drawing and I'm always leaving some white out because you cannot white out unless you're using gouache or some opaque colors to do that so and you see I'm covering my drawing with this Color, which I just took from the palette. If I want something darker, I can do that. I'll just go to the darker tone here and mix it up here, and I can use this to apply shadows. Mm, I can go to to a, to a more colder tones to do that. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a color from here and applying it there and mixing it there. If I you want to use something different, like let's say here, I want to use something dark and I see I have some um, some black watercolors here. I'm just adding it and now I want to make his hair dark. The only thing I'm concerned right now is that this thing is a little bit wet and it can go there. But I really don't care about this, let it mix. 
So I do it like this. Why don't I you know, experiment a little bit? So I took some black and I'm just going to apply it a little bit on the eyebrows. And I can add more here and here. So it created this kind of washy filling of watercolors. So there you have it. And this is, oh, I shouldn't have closed it. So you see, I closed it and I have it here and it's a story behind it. So now I will just leave it. So I just leave it to dry a little bit. So this is the story of, well, look, this is the, this is how I draw. And thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments. And thank you.